Hello Lee, welcome to Annie's Reviews. Thanks for joining me. We've made it to the weekend, which makes it... Fun Friday, Fun Friday, Fun Friday. That's right, it's Fun Friday. Have you been and seen this channel for a little while? We'll know that on Friday I like to drink something to get the party started. It's my gateway, or it is the gateway to my weekend. Um, so I like to drink something maybe a bit different, something a bit quirky, or something I've just been really looking forward to. And this one is the latter one. This is something I've been really looking forward to. Probably, it's from West Ham Brewery, and probably since I've, I came across them, I've been looking uh, looking forward to this. So it's probably in a couple of months, to be fair. But I bought this last weekend, so uh, looking forward to it. I can get the light on this to work. This electrician will have to come back and sort me lighting out. Um, yeah, it's the Spirit of Kent. It's what they call a nine hop triple X pale ale. It comes at 4% ABV, like I say, it's from West Ham Brewery. Just been looking forward to it for a long time. Um, and the more you know about the beer and and why they do the beer, um, just the more exciting the story gets, really. So during World War II, a little story, I'll pour as I talk. During World War II, um, West Ham Brewery um, used to fill um, spare tanks in aeroplanes. And those... Oops, oops spilled some beer. And those tanks, those tanks of beer were then delivered to um, the armed forces in Europe who loved Western beers. It was a popular beer, popular brewery, popular beers. Uh, and it was just a really great way of delivering, um, delivering these beers to the, the jolly troops in Europe. And I just love that story that these airplanes were sent over. Obviously we import mission stuff. The aromas on this are amazing. Um, and they used to deliver these big tanks of, um, of beer, and they used to call it, I want to show this picture here, uh, Joy Juice. So they used to call it Joy Juice. Oops, we got to that. Um, and I just love that story, I just think it's great that that's how uh, this stuff used to um, uh, get to the guys in Europe. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so it is called a Nine Hop Triple X Pale Ale, because there's nine hops in it. Um, I can't remember all of them, it does say on it and then I'll put a little thingy whirly thing up. Um, it's got Target, Goldings, um, First Gold, Bramble Cross, uh, Whitbread Goldings is in it as well. I can't remember, I think I've mentioned five there, there's four I'm missing. Um, and it might come to me. I've printed up there, you can see them up on the screen somewhere anyway. I'll make sure of that. Um, now the nice thing is, is that when you when you normally have a beer, not normally but we normally, but some beers that have something like nine hops, all the beers are competing for, you, for your taste buds. I find West Ham's don't do that. The blended so well, it's seamless. The 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 uh, aromas and the flavours are absolutely amazing, and the stuff is just absolutely seamless the way it tastes. So excited to try this. You normally get like big hopping like that in big uh, American pale ales so it's nice in an English pale ale to get something done like that and they're all British shops not only are they all British shops I think they're all from Kent as well so that has poured you are going to see this light no, you might be able to uh, I'm going to call it a dark golden colour it's dark cold and slash amber colour there's a little bit of Haze, it's oh, is it crystal clear? No, oh, it's fairly clear actually, and some light carbonation. It looks good. The aromas of it are really, really good. But let's get an official snifter. It's hoppy, it's citrusy, a little bit of sweetness in there. Smells good. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Taste it then, let's taste it, shall we? Right, uh, cheers everybody. Tell you what, another, oops, oops. Another cracking beer from West Ham. Oh, after a week like this week, it's uh, well deserved by me. 
It full as nose. I, he's, I went to see um, Robert Wicks, who uh, owns Westrum. Uh, went to see him last weekend, and I was talking to him about. I can't remember. Was it in the nineteen sixty five? It wasn't that one. I can't remember what it was, but I said it tasted really simple, like a really simple hopped beer. And he said it wasn't. It wasn't just single hop or double hop. There was I think eight eight hops in that one. And I said, yeah, but the, the thing is, it's just blended so well. It's like this one, it's blended so well, the flavours aren't competing, it just tastes really natural, really, really simple. I, it was, I hope it took it nicely, it was meant to be a, an absolutely massive um, compliment. But this this is the same, if you look at some of the um, hops you've got here, they've got uh, Brampton Cross, uh, which is really, really fruity, um, it's an interesting one to use in the pale ale because it's really fruity. Uh, you get those dark fruit flavours coming through. And it's usually you usually find like ports and stouts, and those sorts of uh, those sorts of stronger beers. Uh, it's got first gold, which I like as a hop. It's fruity, and actually I'm growing some uh, first gold here because I'm doing some my own brewing with my own uh, first gold hops. That's a fruity one. Um, Target, which I'll talk about because this has got a really nice bitterness to it, and uh, Target has a little spicy edge to it, but it's also really good at bittering. Uh, I think that's kind of what I'm getting through on, on this one. That must be the Target hop. So, like I say, it um, it follows nose. It's hoppy. There's a nice zesty lemon flavour coming through it. Um, but throughout the whole all of it, you can sense this sweet, uh, sweet malt, and I know they use caramels in caramels in this one, so that's that sweetness going through. It's a lovely, almost toffee-like sweetness coming through, and at the back end, it's got a really, really excellent bitterness. It's like. It's got a similar taste profile to a, a really good old English bitter. It's got an earthiness in there. It's got a nice floralness in there. And like I say, it must be um, those tiger hops. There's a little, little spiciness going on as well. But it's such a lovely beer. Really nice. Very, very easy drinking. Really smooth in the mouth. It's a really cracking, really cracking English pale ale. A proper old fashioned style English uh, pale ale. Really good. I'm gonna have to score a 10 out of 10. It's another 10 out of 10. This is the second beer I've scored 10. About ten for these guys. It is just really nice, really good. Really pleased with that one. Uh, I need to buy some more of those. I do buy them and I do give them away to friends who I know like the beers. Um, and this is another one. I'm going to buy a couple more of these and I will give some away to see what my mates think about it as well. Because uh, they all seem they all go down really well. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Comment if you've had anything from Western. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to say actually this one. I can't remember. Robert did tell me, and I can't remember. Um, I know this was in Marks and Spencers, uh, and they call it Nine Hop Kentish Ale, something like that. But if you see the Nine Hop um, Pale Ale in Marks and Spencers, it's this beer. Really nice. Um, yeah, ten out of ten. What more can say? Uh, like I say, comment if you have anything for Western. Um, uh, love reading your comments, love responding to your comments. More important, any, anything like commenting, like and subscribing is that whatever you're drinking tonight, please enjoy it. Till the next review, cheers everybody.